man. A tall corner like yourself, a lot of times, the receivers that are really good route runners, they, they give you guys problems. But this is something that I see often with a few guys. Yeah, uh, I'm definitely a taller corner, but I feel like I don't move like my uh, height. Um, I feel like I have a uh, very strong ability to move like you guys are 5'11", 5'10", uh, type of cornerbacks. Um, I feel like that's what definitely sets me apart um, out of this DB class. How do, you, how do you feel you fared in those two Washington games? Um, I feel like the first game, it was. Uh, I feel like I played decent. Um, I definitely didn't play my best game. I feel like I kind of let the moment uh, be playing a big team. I knew we was both undefeated. It was going to be a big time matchup. Kind of let the match, uh, the moment get a little too big. As in, not just playing my game and letting the game actually come to me. I was trying to make a little bit of the hero plays here and there. I feel like uh, leading to my second matchup with them, I was way more comfortable. Um, I feel like I don't even remember giving up a pass that game, honestly, the uh, second matchup. So, I, yeah, I definitely feel like that second matchup is uh, honestly a pretty easy game for me. Was Rome the best? Was he the best receiver you faced? No, uh, the best receiver I faced was Troy Franklin. Yeah. Have you had a chance to meet with the San Francisco 49ers? Um, not since I've been out here. I've met with them when I was at the uh, Senior Bowl. Um, I met with the San Fran. Um, how do you, how would you describe your game? Would you be more of like a press man corner, more more zone coverage, or a combination of both? Um, uh, press man corner is uh, definitely my specialty for sure. Um, I have no problem playing zone. Um, I feel like if it's something that I want to work on in my at the next level, is definitely just being disciplined, having disciplined eyes and zone coverage. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely a press man, a man in your face corner. You had a great performance at the Senior Bowl. What was that experience like, and how do you think it helped your your draft stock this week and going to the yeah, the Senior Bowl, it was definitely a good experience. Um, I felt like I was able to showcase some of the things that I wanted to show on tape um, and uh, kind of button up some of the things maybe people had questions about. And, yeah, I feel like it went good. Do you feel like your instincts are, are some of the best in the draft class? It seems like you always find a way to get your hand in between the receiver and the ball. Can you, is there anything the receiver gives away that you look at or watch tape to, to, to kind of hone that skill? Yeah, when it comes to actually like me playing through the receiver head and stuff like that, I really just go off the of receiver shoulders. Uh, usually, especially when it comes to like fade balls and stuff like that. Usually, when the receiver uh, starts to slow himself down, I'm pretty much expecting a back shoulder at that point in time. And uh, anytime a receiver, you know, got his head down, he's digging pretty hard, then I know I could look and uh, lean into him and then look up. A lot of DBs, I feel like struggling in this class and looking up for the ball and really going to make plays. And I feel like that's why I get my hand on a lot of passes. And is there any difference in how you play? You would play someone who's a little more, you know, a little taller, a little bigger versus someone who's a little speedier and smaller? Yeah, when I play taller uh, receivers, um, it's really honestly easier for me to check taller receivers um, just because they're not as agile as your smaller guys. Uh, so I usually am a little more patient. You know, I make sure my jams are more uh, firm, as in like when I do get my hands on them, I'm making sure they feel me. But when I'm checking smaller guys, I, my goal is to disrupt them early um, at the line of scrimmage because I know they have a lot more agility, a lot more quickness. Have you met with the Cowboys this week? Uh, no, I haven't met them at the uh, senior bowl as well. Kyrie, what you just talked about, the looking up and, you know, bigger versus smaller. A couple of plays from your college career that you would want to show NFL team, like, this is me at my best. Say that one more time. A uh, couple of plays from your college career you want to show NFL teams this week, like, this is me at my best. Uh, is there, are there a couple of plays I want yeah. to show? Yeah, um, I feel like um, one of the PBUs versus um, Colorado, um, a lot of people say, like, I was getting handsy at the line of scrimmage, but really the receiver, uh, pulled me and um, I ended up having to, that's how I got behind him. It wasn't like I missed my jam or anything. He pulled me through. Um, he was a step in front of me, but um, I knew he wasn't that fast. I was able to get um, about a step behind him and looked up for the ball and I batted the ball down. So that was one of my favorite plays. Were you, you look formal at the, with the Lions this week? Um, no formals with the Lions, no. When that, you look that, at the best cornerbacks in the NFL, what's one trait or attribute that they all have? Dog mentality. That dog mentality, you, you have that too. Can you kind of take me through like the JUCO process, how that developed, that uh, helped develop it, and just you know why you went that route? Yeah, uh, well, I had to go that route. Um, I wasn't a qualifier coming out of high school, but that definitely helped my, uh, my mentality on the field. Uh, no fear, no receiver that I'm playing against. Um, I don't go off of people's names. Uh, I feel like every single play, whether you're a big name receiver, small name receiver, you're gonna have to show me every play why you are who you are. So um, I feel like that's probably one of my biggest separators in um, this. Me in this class is like how I view receivers and how I don't give nobody any respect and have to take it. What if teams kind of asked you about that journey? If the teams talk to you about JUCO and transfer in a couple of times, what do you tell them when they ask about that? 
Yeah, I always tell them um, it was just a part of the path. I feel like everything happens for a reason. Um, I honestly think if I would have went straight to the Division One level out of high school, I might not be here right now. So um, I'm definitely grateful for the journey and the path that I took to get right here. Where do you want to be a corner? Hold on one second, let me go here. What made you want to be a corner? What made me want to be a corner? Um, there's no better feeling than being able to take a quarterback's number one matchup out of the game. Uh, I feel like I got the hardest job on the field. I'm going backwards, which is not average, which is not normal at all. Everybody else on the field is going forward, which everyone is used to doing. I don't know what a receiver is doing before the play. And to be able to stop them and they might be able to get the ball in the most confidence is the best feeling. What do you like about one-on-one coverage? Uh, yeah, I'm with the Steelers. No, not out here. I'm, I'm with Coach Tomlin, the D.C. Uh, when I was out in the senior, but that was one of my uh, best meetings. What was, uh, what was your impression of my time? Yeah, uh, coach who I wouldn't mind playing for at all. Uh, got that dog mentality. Um, he likes my uh, attitude and swag on the field from what we talk. And I definitely uh, like Coach Tom a lot. Kyrie, are there any current NFL players that you're being mentored by or you feel you emulate your game after? Uh, I don't emulate my game after anybody. Um, I take bits and pieces from different players. Um, I would say like some of the uh, NFL players who I talk to a little bit is Trayvon Diggs um, and Xavier Howard. Um, we, I don't ask pretty some tips. I got some tips from Jair Alexander before. Um, these are some of the guys that I've talked to before about you know t taking that next step in my game. And what has this whole process been like for you? What is this entire process from Senior Bowl to now? What's everything been like? This is a dream come true. Honestly, uh, something that I always look forward to. Um, I've been always thinking about this since I was five years old. So to be able to finally, you know, see these, uh, this hard work pay off, it's just been a great experience. And I uh, just cherish every moment, every step. Have you, have you met with the Buccaneers this week? So have you met with the Buccaneers this week? Um, yes, I've met with the Buccaneers this week. Was that formal or informal? Informal. Do you informal? Feel, yeah, yeah, informal. Do you feel like corner is a position where you're expected to be able to produce early? Or do you think that you're the kind of guy that might be given a chance to develop a little bit more? Um, for me, I'm ready to produce right now. Um, I feel like it's no time to be wasted. Um, I feel like I'm one of the more polished corners in this game. Um, I was playing in the best throwing conference uh, with um, Caleb Williams, who's probably possibly be the number one draft pick right now. And it's a reason them guys didn't throw at me during the game. So, yeah. Thanks, Gary.